five reasons why I may not have honeybees much longer. Well, I did splits a month ago, almost a month, month ago. And five days later, I checked to make sure I had good queen cells. And I noticed a few varroa mites then. And then when I checked for virgin queens, I saw a few more. Not a lot. So then I knew I was going to do an acetic acid treatment as soon as all the, all the brood was out of the cells. So early this morning, around 5.30, I got out here and I plugged up the entrances. And there, there was a little bit of bees on the outside like that on all of these. Now these colonies here are big enough for one deep, but they keep building... They keep building up through the entrance and building it in between the outer cover and inner cover. So I didn't want them doing that. So I go ahead, I gave them a deep. These were new frames. See, they're new frames. Really nothing on them. I don't have to worry about wax moths. But anyway, these are all good sized colonies. And uh, yesterday I was out here. So that's the first reason. The silic acid, this... Uh, this is a really good tool right here. This uh, ProVap 110, I've been using it for a couple of years since uh, since I had too many colonies in 2023. I couldn't keep up with that, uh, all that little wand uh, thing, whatever it is. I, w this works really good, it's quick, and I've been able to keep the mites under control. But what I've noticed, like I said, I was out here 5.30 this morning, and I did, I treated all of these except for the small ones. I treated all the big ones. You see, I had I put foam insulation in the back because the I have a screen bottom board and I put plywood underneath the screen bottom board and there's a little bit of a gap there. So just to make sure the vapor doesn't come out the back, I put that foam in. So that was sealed up pretty good. There's, there's always a little bit in between the, the deeps and stuff and the covers. But I still think I got a good treatment. Here I am checking... It's the second day I'm going through because uh, yesterday I didn't get out here right away. I had other things to do and I, I didn't check all of them yesterday. I just checked the oldest virgin queens and I had like uh, one third were successful in getting mated. The other two thirds, there was I, I wrote down no VQ, no virgin queen. But you know what? I found one in this one and yesterday I couldn't find one. So sometimes I miss them. That's why I always look twice, sometimes three times if I have time. But what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and do a second round of uh, mating nukes just because of my lack of being successful with, uh, with mating. So there we go. Um, first one's acetic acid not working. I still have varroa mites. And sometimes if I have time, I can get the varroa mite off the bee without killing the bee. But this time, if I saw varroa mite on the bee, I just went ahead. I killed the bee and put it, put her up here, and I and I searched for the varroa mite and killed the varroa mite. But it's, it's more than just the bees that were on the outside because a lot of them were nurse bees. They didn't probably didn't come out to the front of the hive. And then you also the other thing is the crop farmers. I've been waiting for crop farmers to go bankrupt, and hopefully that's in the future with uh, the United States pissing off China and a lot of other countries around the world. We're not the good guys anymore. Uh, we support Israel and the killing of Palestinians in Gaza. And a lot of countries are turning against the United States. They don't want to do business in the United States. So all these crop farmers that, are surround, that surround me, they use glyphosate, Roundup. They don't plow anymore. They're spraying all these chemicals and are using pesticides. and It's hard on my bees. My bees don't live five to six months through winter. They only live three to four. A couple years ago, I made a 150 new colonies, and I, I wanted to sell them for my construction project here that I got going on. I wanted to sell some bees so I'd have the money to do that construction project. But I didn't make enough calls at the end of summer, early fall. I couldn't sell any, and my colonies were too small to get through winter. The following summer... June 2024, I only had five colonies. And I still had those five colonies through winter. I lost one queen in April and I lost one in May. And she was a drone layer. So I ended up, I have a lot of drones. Drones aren't the issue. Uh, Michigan Bee Works, I checked yesterday. I don't see his bees, but I have a neighbor a half hour, or I mean a half mile away. He's got two colonies. And I should have enough drones to get my virgin queens mated. So... That there's three things there. 
acidic acid breeding crop farmers and cost of domino cane sugar oh my god I'm talking almost nine dollars for a 10 pound bag i can't afford to feed my bee syrup anymore um i used to do three rounds of uh, mating nukes but i'm only gonna do two sometime in mid-july i'm gonna stop i don't think robbing's gonna be an issue this year because i don't have that many colonies and if michigan bee works doesn't show up Robbing's not going to be an issue. I didn't have a lot of robbing until I had a lot of colonies, and, and Michigan Bee Works had his colonies over there. And then uh, the other thing is, I rolled back Social Security retirement age. I'm an electrical contractor. Um, I don't make any money beekeeping. You know, back in 2013, I started my first, I got my first package. Got it through winter. In 2014, I was so proud of myself getting those bees through winter. I was only going to try one. I bought four more. So beginning of May, I had five pack or five colonies, and then by July, because those colonies are so big, I was worried about because my first summer I had a swarm, I had my colony swarm because I didn't I didn't open it, I was kind of afraid of them, I didn't check it, they swarmed and and I tried to, I'm, I wasn't able to keep that swarm. I got it into a hive, but they got robbed out and didn't work out. So the following year, I went ahead and I split them in July, and man, was I successful! I ended up getting two swarms out of one colony but anyway I had I had five colonies that ended up with 13 at the under summer because my virgin queens I didn't mess with them. all I did was split them I didn't mess with the virgin queens I didn't check them I didn't do anything with them I ended up getting 13 colonies at the end of summer you know and I didn't start treating for varroa mites until I was three years without issues with varroa mites until 2017 that's when I bought queens from Foley's Russian Bees, the Russian queens, and they were no good. So that didn't work out, so I started treating. I used formic pro, formic acid. That worked the first fall. The first time I used it, the second time it didn't kill any varroa mites. So I switched to the acidic acid, and it seems like it's been working for the last couple of years. But like I said, I'm still finding varroa mites in my, on my bees. So that's the five things there. I don't know how much longer. I can't afford to buy queens or packages anymore. I don't know how you guys can afford it. I'm not going to buy honeybees. If I don't, if my bees all die, that's it. I'm done. I'm just going to sell my hives and covers and every, you know, sell everything I have. You know, I have a lot. I could do 200 colonies if I wanted. So I'm just going to sell everything if I if I uh, can't keep bees. But I love honeybees. I really want the crop farmers to go bankrupt. Uh, stop farming every fucking inch of soil. Oh my God. They're, every year they cut down more trees. What is seriously wrong with these people? Um, and they're spraying. It's the fact that they're spraying so much chemicals everywhere around me that it's affecting my bees. And in 2019, I had a crop farmer kill my bees. The same day he was out planting corn, the state of Michigan told me, that he killed my bees, but they also told me he did nothing wrong. These chemicals blew into my hives. My hives were facing the south, and the state had the nerve to tell me it wasn't windy because it was windy that day. He was out there early in the morning. I saw him out there. I went away to do an electrical job, and I came home for lunch, and I had bees coming out of my hive. That video is on my YouTube channel. So... And the state of Michigan tried to tell me that my bees went out there and it wasn't windy that day. That was complete bullshit. Did I get reimbursed for the loss? You know, I probably lost $1,000 worth of bees. Five colonies are basically destroyed. Uh, they lost their queens and they're basically destroyed. So that's basically $1,000 worth of bees. I didn't get reimbursed for that. Why is it when crop farmers have issues? They have, they have crop insurance. Do I have honeybee insurance? No. So I don't know that I can afford to keep doing this anymore. So I got to keep doing electrical work because they rolled back Social Security. Um, I paid into it years ago when I was younger. I used to make a lot of money doing electrical when I worked for other people. But um, when I got older, I got wise. I, don't, I try not to pay into it because I'll never get that money back. The government uses it for all their other corrupt projects they got going on. The military industrial complex basically controls this country. Uh, they love war. Um, Smedley Butler, over 100 years ago, or about 100 years ago, he was in the Marines. He was the most highly decorated Marine. Um, he wrote a book, War's a Racket. Uh, check it out. He knew after being in the military for quite a few years that all these wars were, weren't really justified. They're just all about making money. Uh, the rich people get richer, and they use the poor people as cannon fodder. Okay? 
Well, it's almost, that's 10 minutes. Thank you.